Hey everybody, welcome to Reading the Bible to Cats. I only have like limited battery life on my iPad, but the kitties were being so cute. I wanted to video them and then they stopped being so cute and now they're just medium cute. They were being, um, they were being large cute. But now it's just medium cute because they, Guster was cradling um, Henry and grooming him. And I thought that was large cute, not medium cute. Well, I figured I would, oh, I don't know where my Bible tin is. Well, <clears throat> I'll just read um, something <laughs> from the Bible. I thought I had my tin of Bible promises. Oh well, I'll just look something up and we're racing against time because it is my battery. If this cuts off, just know it was my battery. But let me um, just Google inspiring Bible promise <laughs> and let's see what comes up. Inspiring Bible Promise. Oh, this is an AI overview. That's interesting. Okay. Well, we'll see what AI has to uh, give us. <clears throat> Isaiah 40, verse 31. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Yeah, I love that one. Um, Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Yeah. Oh, and I love this one. Romans fifteen thirteen. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing. That's a different translation. Oops, sorry, that was... Um... But yeah, I love that one. Romans 15, 13. Let me go to the actual Romans 15, 13. Romans 15, 13. Can you start being cute over there, please? Like in a large way, not just a medium way. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Romans 15, 13. Yeah, NIV. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I love that. That's that's great. Okay, Guster, do you mind if I give you some direction? Could you? That's a little more than medium cute, but I need large cute. Yeah. How about you groom your brother like you were doing a moment ago, please? Can you take my direction? I'm telling you the talent is very, um, the talent is very, you know, I don't want to call them prima donnas, but okay. Well, I want to open this because I got a, a little package from Mike. So thank you, Mike. Mike, um, as you may know, was the, um, the person who just kept reminding me to get a PO box and I put it off and put it off it because I'm a procrastinator and finally got a PO box. And now he's, he sent, he sent Stan, by the way, you know, Stan, the Stan and Kitty, but, um, there's a picture of Guster sniffing Stan. Now let me open this. 
Okay, I'm going to open it. I may not film the actual opening, but... Ah! Oh, wonderful! Oh, I love it! I love colored pencils. Erasable colored pencils. Thank you, Mike. That's so uncalled for. I'm totally not expecting anything. Oh, I love it! Let's color. Names of God. Oh, I love that. I love coloring books, actually. Well, I love coloring. It's so relaxing. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh, cool. It's all the names of God. That is so cool. With 35 images. I'm just sorry, everybody. I'm looking at it. This is going to be really wonderful. And, and very... It's very therapeutic, very relaxing, and I'll get, um, I'll be focused on the, on you know, the names of of God, and they're so cool. Kadosh Yisrael, Holy God of Israel. It's the, I'll color that. Yay! Thank you, thank you, Mike. Well, let's say a prayer before my battery dies. Wow, thanks so much. I don't, I don't expect that, but it's so sweet of you. Well, um, let's pray, but I'd like Guster to take better direction. Guster, do I need to talk to your agent or, sorry, your manager? Because when you signed the contract, you said large cute, that you would be large cute. But during this video, it seems you're being medium cute. No, no, I take that back. You're adorable. <laughs> I love how he listens. And, and Henry's being cute, too. Look how he's sleeping. All right, everybody. Lord, I love this verse. That you promise us that you are the God of hope. How wonderful is that? You are the God of hope and you promise to fill us with all joy and peace as we trust in you so that we may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I love that. And of course I realize that I need to trust in you. <laughs> uh, and that waiting on you and trusting, I think, entails like, oh no, we're losing kitties. It entails hoping in your goodness and trusting that you have our best interests at heart. I don't have to get Stan. So thank you, Lord, for your word and um, I just pray for everybody who's watching or listening that you sorry sorry I'm just holding stand up because you need something to look at but it's kind of striking me as ridiculous to say this prayer and hold stand up but it's cute anyway Lord um, bless everyone who's watching or listening and I pray that you fill them with joy, Lord, as they trust in you and that they would overflow with hope by the power of your Holy Spirit. Today is Thursday and I'm going to post this on Tuesday, so I don't know what will happen in the world between now and then, but I pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for the peace of Israel, and I pray, Lord, that I pray for your sovereign hand to guide innocent people out of harm's way in all these areas where there's war. I pray, uh, well, it's Thursday and there's a hurricane heading towards um, Florida, so pray for safety. But by the time I post this, I don't know what will happen. Lord, I just pray that you protect the people in harm's way and and in the way of the hurricane and animals pray for animals too 
and pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for Israel, and I pray all these things in Jesus and the hostages, Lord. Show up for them in visions and dreams and just through your Holy Spirit. Pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. Um, before I go, which it might cut off, but I was thinking how it, you know, everyone is just so against Israel, and yet, you know, in pop culture, we we know what the we know the terms. I mean, you don't have to be religious. You don't have to be um, a fundamentalist Christian. You don't have to be um, a, Has a Hasidic Jew. You know, to know certain terms. Um, but some of those terms that I think everybody in pop culture knows is, you know, Armageddon and Apocalypse. But Armageddon is really a place in Israel, isn't it? Megiddo? Yeah. And Armageddon is really the entire world turning against Israel and, and marching against it. Um, and then, of course, the Deliverer, the Messiah, Jesus, re returns, returns to put an end to it. But that's what Armageddon is, and it's like you can kind of see the stage setting up for that. Isn't it weird? Anyway, but on a happier note, let's all think about the God of hope filling us with all joy and peace as we trust in him. Okay, the battery's going to die. Bye, everybody. Bye.